Who is Yola? And why should you care? I'll tell you why next. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers live from the hottest block on the internet where the video is free, but the conversation is expensive. If you're on my Instagram, you might know that I have talked a bit about this young lady named Yola. That's right, the name is Yola. Fantastic singer that I came across recently. And before we get into specifically why I'm so enamored with this young lady, let's talk about the importance of supporting our incredible musicians and artists. Other genres of music, other people tend to celebrate their artists more than us in the African-American community do. That's just a fact. When you look at acts like the Rolling Stones, the Eagles, Frankie Valli, Elvis Presley, shit, Blink-182 for that matter, that are still going around touring, as we speak, certain folks will go out and pay money to go to a concert or buy a 25th anniversary album, keeping these people paid and well off and comfortable long into their golden years. Us, on the other hand, tend to throw our artists on the trash heap, especially when it comes to hip hop. When it comes to rap, we do not support our aging artists which is why I'm so focused on supporting this particular up and coming talent. Just a little bit of background I'm reading right now. Um, 2010, she released her first album. She sung background vocals for groups, including Massive Attack, The Chemical Brothers, and unfortunately, Iggy Azalea. My introduction to her came just randomly scrolling through YouTube and saw an NPR concert that she was given and was completely blown away by her vocals. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a breath of fresh air. And she is from Bristol, England. That's right, England. She is not American. She got a little bit of a country vibe to her, mixed with a little bit of blues and some soul. She can do things with her voice that other artists simply cannot do. And that's why we need to push and get behind Yola immediately. Her views are low on YouTube right now, but I suspect in the coming months and over this next year of 2020, she about to be lighting it up and you're gonna hear a lot more about her. Another artist that I do wanna also mention, Brittany Howard, the ex-lead singer for the Alabama Shakes. She has a new solo project out. So now let's get out here and start supporting these groundbreaking female African-American artists. And let's get it straight right now. Let's not get it twisted. A lot of white people, Hispanic, Asians, listen to these particular artists that I'm speaking of as well. So I'm not, making a case for bifurcating our society. I'm not making a case for blacks over here, whites over here. What I'm talking about is if we as African-Americans don't support our best and brightest, then how can we expect anybody else to do so? And we cannot complain about our artists dying broke or not getting a fair shake when we have within our ability to support these people and give them the true recognition that they deserve. So when you leave this video, please go click Yola, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and also Yola Far Away Look. And let me tell you one more thing. The records don't do her justice. Go check out the live performances. There are nuances involved, and she will send chills up your spine. If you like what I'm doing out here, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Until next time, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.